Winter Tier 1v1, Green Tooth Gorge, Blue Side. A Lone Heart Flasia with a Force Commander, very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. This is the Imperial Fists Elite Scheme, recolored black and yellow, I guess. Up against on the red side, Torpid with a Hive Tyrant, very durable hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed, powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse, I shall call it, Benitez. He looks hungry. We've got some tactical marines, most likely into some more scouts, and double termagants up for Torpid. No big surprises then. And there indeed is the second scout. These heroes both pretty damn strong in the opening engagements and exchanges. Looks like Hormagorts might run into that force commander too, which is going to be a bad day for these guys. If they engage, Battle Cry will mess them up. If they try to run away, Bolt Pistol will mess them up. They might just have to retreat off him. Or maybe take the garrison. Can Hormagorts even get into garrisons? I'm not sure if they can. Torpid's got some spawn mines up. These guys explode on you doing damage over time. And can be hard to shoot down with ranged weapons since they're so small. And these guys are taking a garrison. Double Termagants backed up by... Benitez itself can go and cap, I think, that big fella. There he goes. And scouts retreat, and indeed, Force Command has found some Hormagaunts and Bolt Pistol already doing some work here. I believe it's around uh, like 15 to 17 DPS, something like that. Pretty damn strong and has good accuracy on the move. Boom, there goes another one. How many is this Bolt Pistol going to get? Another one. Three down to the Bolt Pistol. Not sure if he got a melee attack off before the bolt pistol started firing or not. And now has found some termigants. No toxin sacks up as yet. But there's one right away. Small mines just exploded on their own hormigaunts, which might kill them. Tactical Marines, can they finish them off? Pretty low, down to seven hit points. They do get away though. And the green damage over time crap actually spreads to the termigants there. Not exactly sure how that spreading works, if it's just like the, um, like black grenade spreading. Probably is. Benitez has capped the Western VP. Now this high of time looking to eat some scouts. Can't do a whole lot about it either. Maybe they could take the garrison and shoot him. Just gonna shoot and run, shoot and run. More scouts on the east side. And tactical marines down to. 250 hit points, take the VP, Force Commander trying to be very cheeky, decapping that fully matured natural rep point. Hormagorts might finish him off here, one more hit might do it. Looks like he's going to be alright, they can't chase anymore, no more melee charge, I guess. Assault squad on the way for Lassia, it's going to make a massive difference. They can jump onto the double termagants, really bully them. And Torpid, are these more spore mines? Must be, there's five of them. There's a single cap right now for Torpid. We might see Rending Talons to fight the Assault Squad. Big fan of Rending Talons myself. Yes, not quite as much upfront raw damage as the Crushing Claw. But that Seismic Roar is awesome. Especially if you have other melee guys around you. Because that knockdown allows you to get a whole bunch of free melee attacks. And maybe trigger a Panic Retreat so you get... Bonus damage as they're knocked down and can't do anything about it. Can do some really good stuff. Hive Tyrant has found some tactical marines now. And they're going to drop a model if they're not careful here. Uh oh. And indeed they do drop a model. There's the assault marines. Found some termigants immediately to mess up. Absolute bullies these guys. Real tier 1 juggernauts. The old assault squad. Spawn mines here. Uh, yeah, they got one explosion. Well done, fellas. Force Commander. I thought he had alacrity there. He seemed to be running around quickly, but it was just some kind of weird melee charge thing. I have Tyrant runs, but um, there's some stuff in Retreat Path. Might not get away here. Might not survive. I don't think he's gonna. Nope. Assault Squad had just enough to finish him off. Was close, though. Warrior Brood now up. These guys will certainly help in the fight against the Assault Squad. They do have power melee damage and can disrupt pretty well. But if they take a jump, 
And then the Force Commander comes in and battle cries them. That's going to be a rough fight for those guys. Another source of synapse, of course, as well. Make a hell of a lot of noise while they attack the power node over there. Two to one cap for Torpid. Gonna need to repurchase the Hive Tyrant, I would assume, before tier two, but we might see tier two first. More warriors? I think that's a mistake. That's literally a mistake. I think they're just on Overwatch here. There's a jump. Double warriors would be insanely fun to see. You should see a bunch of them um, double Barb Trangler plays in retail. I remember Dirt Credits running that a few times. Also, Vindicare X and his brother Dadokasin used to use it a few times, I think. If indeed, it was cancelled by Torpid. Now goes for Tier 2 before Lassia. And I want to see some Tyrant Guard. Zone Throp is a bad player, of course, because of the Assault Squad and potential teleporting Force Commander, who is already level 3. High of Tyrant. Poor Benitez, still level 1. Uh oh, flame attacks on your gens. Very good timing there by Lassia. We do have toxin sacks up on both of the termagants. But uh, still a ways off tier 2 here, Lassia. A relatively quick turret guard, or maybe even Gene Stealer Brood could do a hell of a lot of work here. There'll be no Dreadnought for a while and no Thumbhammer for a while. And they will eat Assault Squad. And Tactical Marines all day. These Hormogorts getting pretty low. Got a bit too deep in there, these guys. But they're okay. They do have their Adrenal Glands. Warriors arriving late. And very strangely, what are they doing? Looks like that one model is far enough away to leave safely. I think they're going to be okay. Yes, they are. Tactical Marines have dropped a model. But he's a Salt, salt Squad. As you can see, barely lost any hit points here. They can fight Termigans all day long. High of Tyrant just walks past them. He's going for the Tactical Marines, I guess. 335, 396. There is a Brood Nest over here, allowing the Termigans to reinforce. And the Hormogaunts should see the Assault Squad off. Looks like they won't be able to jump away either. So forces a retreat there. And that, I think that's going to mean Torpor is going to get out and recap a bunch of stuff. Lured into a trap there, the Assault Squad, if they just stayed a bit more patient. It's so hard, though, not to chase Termigants back, right? You don't want to just turn away from Termigants to try and keep position, I don't think. Get as much kills as you can, take the retreat and get back out there. Scouts with a Sergeant and Shotguns, and indeed these guys also have the same. So that could be some nasty combos later on. There's a grenade. Misses. Hormogants will see them off. You see they get um, these weird adrenal gland growths on their back. Just make these glands as vulnerable as possible. Just put them straight on the back. Eye of Tyrant still has no war gear. So we could see a big old angry one with crushing claw, maybe bonded exoskeleton, that kind of thing. What about you fellas? Nothing in tier 2 yet for these guys. Toxin sat such a big upgrade for Termigants. Very rarely you don't see it. Assault Squad going to jump in and mess them up though. High of Tyrants on its way over. And yeah, rending Talons I think would do a hell of a lot of work here. Especially when you're backed up by Adrenal Gland Formagaunts. Can they kill an Assault Marine? I don't think they've killed one yet. This is looking pretty good. Stops the Force Commander getting in, which is great. Battlecry still goes off, and the Assault Squad do get away without a model loss. Trading strongly, as they usually do. And we do see a Tyrant God. Awesome. 60 power for these guys. And they're on the power again. And they can also flame down the Brood Nest, the Tactical Marines. Grenade misses. Doing a good job splitting the Termigants up there, Torpid. 313 to 347, single cap for the Tyranids. Turret Guard is going to hit the field. Lassia gets a Librarian up. Yeah, Brood Nest is going to be taken. Hormogods are in retreat path. 
but they're very low, and these guys might just melee them down with power melee, power armored elbows, I should say. Yes, they do. Misjudged there by Torpid. Now Termicans will melee them on retreat. Couldn't quite get a model though. Oh, I think um, for the Emperor was used there, which did help them smack down those Hormogorts pretty damn fast. So maybe without it, it wouldn't have been so clear cut. Assault Squad jump for the Emperor being a global buff for the Force Commander. And now he's got his hammer groove going on, along with a teleporter back. Bad day to be a Tyranid all of a sudden, although Tyrant Guard in play, he doesn't care about no Thunderhammer. He will go eat that Force Commander. Here he goes. And Adrenal Gland Warriors will also help. Battle Cry is worn off. Still doing big chunks of power melee damage to the Warriors. But you see their Torpid backing them away to get the leap in and takes down the Force Commander. Nicely done. Librarian Caps. Drop Pod coming in, most likely for some quick Stern Guard veterans. Warrior Brood. They get a bunch more hit points. Is it 50% more? It is. Up to 1500 at level 1. That's not bad. Munching on some tactical marines, but I do get away these fellas. I don't see a sergeant queued up. That might be because no, there is enough hit, there is enough resources. I think maybe last year wants the force commander back first. Uh, the most awkward assault squad jump ever, but they still escape without a model loss. No sergeant yet, so no merciless strike to help fight those warriors. Hive Tyrant has got himself a Crushing Claw. Well, two Crushing Claws. Should really be called Crushing Claws. Big old things there. They don't seem to be actually used in melee combat, but uh, apparently they're doing something for you. Termigant's capping the east side now. 2-1 to one for Torpid. Over 100 VPs lead. Done well here. Scouts haven't been the capping juggernaut I expected, perhaps. We always get kind of held up in a fight. But they never trade super effectively. The Termigants can dodge the grenade. Then they're going to shoot down your scouts pretty well, I think. Turret Guard munching through some tactical marines. And we do see some Stern Guard veterans. These guys are first company tacticals can change their ammo loadout to combat all targets. There we see Hellfire rounds doing some acidic damage over time to the Hive Tyrant as it retreats. Vengeance rounds now are loaded in to do extra versus super heavy infantry, which is what the Tyrant God is. Uh oh, Torpid just dropped a bunch of Termigants. I'm not sure where or how. Maybe a grenade or something? We see a bunch of bodies over here, but they might be old. Is it over here, maybe? I have no idea. But a squad of Termigants was lost. So, uh, Torp is looking very depleted right now. Current Guard taking a bunch of damage too. Veil of Time up on the Stern Guard. Trying to chase that guy down. These fellas need to run. Crippling the Librarian. And they do get away. Did not see Smite thrown out. Maybe Smite had something to do with the Termigant's wipe, actually. 154 to 318 on the VPs. Hive Tyrant now has Warp Field, and there it is. And improved Synapse. Gene Stealer Brood is up. The Force Commander's down, too. It's a decent choice, I think. Yes, the Force Commander can mess them up with a Thunderhammer. But uh, that means he's not attacking anything else. If you try and bait him out, you can freely just eat the crap out of anything else. Force one has been repurchased. Assault Squad now have their sergeant, but they don't want to tangle with gene stealers. Here they are. Scary, scary melee superiority squad. And supported by Adrenal Gland Warriors, they're going to be even scarier. With those crazy melee synapse buffs. Triple cap now for Lassia. Taking advantage fully 
of Torpid dropping some stuff. More turret guard. I think it was called in. Awesome. Double turret guard and gene stealers. That's going to be tough to deal with. Thunderhammer can't really deal with one turret guard, let alone two. And of course the hive turret can't be knocked over either by it. Teleports in, goes to the Warriors. That leaves the gene stealers to go wherever they want. Big mistake, I think, by Lassia. And the turret guard are on him. Adrenal Rush is used, boosting the damage of the Gene Slayers, also boosting their speed and giving them a heal on hit. It's a pretty damn good ability. Oh, we have a Plasma Guard. Force Commander flees, and I suspect we're not going to see Lassia try that again. Force Commander is going to be hanging around, waiting for the Gene Slayers to engage, and then in turn engage the Gene Slayers. And that's what it, he should be doing, I think, the Force Commander over there. We'll see if that actually happens. Hive of Tarrant needs to run. And is in retreat, I think. Yes, must be. Warriors capping mid. Gene Sealers have that natural infiltration when they are left idle, which is what you just saw there. Capillary Tower goes up. Brood Nest goes up. Trying to stabilize the mid is torpid. Double Tarrant guards going in. Warrior Brood needs to be careful. They are like half hit points now. And the Force Bond is back in play. There's a Shield Warp. Force Bond goes after them. Torpid backs them off. So they can maybe still provide their Synapse. But Gene Slayers might be in a bit too deep here. It's a lot of stuff for them to fight. With a Thunder Hammer on them. They might go down here. So the Librarian's also getting in some good hits. Looks like they'll be okay. Down to two models. But they do survive. One of these Turret Guard might not survive. Vengeance rounds are in. Doing good damage versus vehicles also, which is what happens to the Tyrant Guard when it's got the shield wall. Gets vehicle armor. Okay, he's committing the warriors. To good effect. The Sword Squad are out of there and they'll easily tangle with some Stone Guard, taking out a model, in fact. 21 red for taking out a Stone Guard veteran. Librarian's a real threat though. Might want to focus this guy down with the Tyrant Guards if they survive. Hive Tyrant is back. Level 2. Scouts are capping. Oh, there's a Ravana Brood up by a Torpid. Scouts need to be careful. I think Lassia's lost, uh, lost sight of them over there. And in fact, the Scouts were taken out. This Tyrant Guard is also, I believe, going to be taken out. There we go. 50 red for that. Revenant Brood with the Burrow Strike. And in their default stance, or rather with the Enhanced Muscle Coil, they will benefit from Melee Synapse, I believe. Although it's not around here right now. Warrior Brood are back at base. Almost level 3, Benitez. Did a really good job to fight back. Those Double Turret Guard make a, made a massive difference. Had... Lassia kind of pinned back in this area, allowing Torpy to take the mid and stabilize a bit with the Brood Nest, a bunch of Capillary Towers. Gene still is waiting. And a Tyrant Guard still lives, as well, of course, as a Ravana Brood, giving that awesome disruption that you saw there. What else does this give them? More speed, more health, more, more damage output in melee. And remain on the ground indefinitely. It's a pretty cool upgrade. Oh, they're knocked back now. Stunts. Not sure I realise that. Here we go. Those guys already in retreat though. Uh oh, Librarian's going to fall. And does fall. Now it's Lassio is looking a little bit depleted here. Tons of resources though. Surely we're going to see some Terminators. In fact, I think that was it. Assault Terminators, yep. Yeah. Thunderhammers and Storm Shields, but if we see some Lightning Claw action, they could tear through Torpid's entire army alone, maybe. I mean, Gene Stillers will give them a pretty good fight. They'll do a lot of damage, but I think they'll just tear through the Gene Stillers. They don't want to try it, though. That's a lot of stuff to fight. Lightning Claws are on the way. Teleport has been used. So they can't really get away from this. Stone Guard down to a single model. Tactical Marines to two models. 
Lightning pulls her in and here's the fight. They're being buffed by the battle cry and also might see for the Emperor come in. Although I haven't noticed it so far in this fight. We've got Assault Marines fighting Raveners and taking out Raveners. Gene Stillers are gonna... Oh! They might have killed... Oh, the Force Commander goes down anyway. I was gonna say, I think the turret, the Hive Turret kind of path blocked its own Gene Stillers there. But personally wanted to take down the Force Commander, I guess. Gene Stillers live. In fact, only dropped a single model on his more Gene Stealers. Awesome. How do Tyranids fight Assault uh, Terminators with Lightning Claws? Just more Gene Stealers, apparently. And Crushing Claw going in doing big chunks as well. Constantly path blocking the Gene Stealers and they can't really get into combat here. Here comes a Tyrant Guard. Now the Gene Stealers are in doing heinous amounts of damage to these guys. That's crazy. That is crazy. I don't think they can take in everything. These jinxes are mental. With Adrenal Rush up especially. Power Melee of course doing extra damage to all these armor types. Which is why Torpid is not getting them Rending Claws. And though I think that's tier 3 now again. So they couldn't get Rending Claws. But I don't think he would anyway. How do you still have 3 models fellas? Okay then. Still pushing them in. What are they doing? Need to get the hell out of there, fellas. Get back to base. That could be a massive mistake by Lassia. Pushing them in with only 400 hit points. I understand she wanted the VPs. But uh, the Terminators fall. And that's GG right there, I think. Cannot deal with this melee force. Maybe a Dreadnought was needed. But it's... I mean, can you really turn down getting Assault Terminators up? Can you really? I don't think you can. You may just see the VP counter tick down here, but I think the game's over. Thor's gonna take his anchor out on a Ripper. More Rippers spawned out of the Capillary Tower here. And the Rude Nest reinforcing everything, of course. Scout's being sneaky, going for that Eastern VP. But hey, there's a turret guard there, fellas. Watch out. Two to one cap is still ticking. Force Gunner's doing his best. But the Stern Guard and the Tactical Marine just not able to deliver enough damage quickly enough. And these guys still have Vengeance rounds loaded. They should be using Kraken Bolts against those warriors. Now they're switching to Kraken Bolts. When I mean, they're not fighting warriors, they should be using Hellfire against the Gene Stealers. They take the garrison. Assault Marines. Level 4, but still no match for a Gene Stealer Brood. Oh, they got a decap before the Tyrant Guards get him off. And he can't cap it back. So it's a 1 to 1. And a Lone Heart Lassia. Has a bunch of resources now. I think it's going to take too long for a Dreadnought to hit the field though. And with double turret guards. And the Crushing Claw. It might just be too late for a Dreadnought. One to one cap here. Assault Squad trying desperately to get a cap. Or a decap even. Former Gaunts is at. No Termigants are taking the east side back. And there is the concession by Lassia, knowing that it was over. What a fun brawl. That was like non-stop action, tier 2 onwards. Level 6, Force Commander. And then level 4, very nearly level 5, High of Tyrant. It was a fun one. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.